because their job is to yes hear students complaints but the idea is to you know like your job is still to the institution which is protecting everybody not just yeah. some angry student who got failed in a class they think they shouldn't have been failed that's what in, i mean it's know. just like they take any student complaint now and it's like they take it so seriously right. to the point where it's just like yeah it's to the point where we're just firing adjuncts because they showed a historical painting that scholars do study and should be like, I you know, mean, I've been saying after this. giving ample disclaimers to be yeah. like, you don't have, like you can leave. This right. is in the syllabus. Yeah. Like, you you know, I gave everyone time to leave before it came this on is screen. This part of the world. The like student <laughs> chose to sit there yeah. and then like cried because they had to look at it. Yeah. And I'm just like, shut up. You chose this. Like you chose this. You well, and, decide it. And it's 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 a false claim, you know. Is this student really upset because they saw an image? You know, are they really upset about that? I, 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 doubt, I doubt. I doubt it. Yeah. I, I mean, I think this comes from like a, an ego thing. Well, it comes from a learned behavior that I think is a learned kind of reaction. And I, social media obviously reinforces it, but it's just like a learned behavior. Is This is how you behave when you're mad at the teacher or you want to get back at somebody or, you know, it's kind of crazy. But then that's being treated as, you know, it's as real. So we have to treat every little thing as if it's like completely genuine and serious, which is a failure of, yeah, the administration's job. Their job is to is to literally filter out, yeah, the serious and real stuff from the just, you know, hyperbolic exaggerations. And, you know, even if the person was genuinely hurt by it, it's like, well, <laughs> I mean... Yeah, you could have wafted out of the room and come back. You could have, I mean, like, this is college. It, it's, you know, hate Hate is written about this. It wasn't even in person. It was online. It was right. all online. It was online. <laughs> yeah. she, and she said, I'm going to give you, like, two minutes to, you know, I gave a disclaimer. I'm giving you some time to <laughs> decide to walk away. And now I'm going to show the image. <laughs> I wonder if doing that... Um, gives people the option like just making that disclaimer allows people to start thinking that like oh well i can go against this or something or like you said this kind of ego trip where they can be like well i can get this professor you know i have power over your job i have power over you actually uh, when really they don't but the administration does and the administration is allowing people to just pick and choose uh i mean it's really incredible. I mean, I they're not doing their job. It's just, yeah. it's hot to be victimized. It's hot to be the victim. Yeah. But that's like a learned thing too. Like that's like, it's just, we emphasize it constantly. Like it's, it's literally part of the curriculum. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, we talk about this mainly in the context of our field. So. Yeah. And even, I mean, even this, like, most recent one is art history, like... <laughs> right, which overlaps with our field a yeah. little bit, yeah. So this is, you know, publishing industries had similar issues that overlaps with us that... I just wish that there were more prominent, like, literary people that were, like, looking at this and going, this is fucked. Um, there's only one I know of that's like really big and famous. And I haven't seen a single it. poet post about this, at least not on Instagram, not but I don't think poet, I will. Not a poet, especially not a mainstream poet. Maybe some of the self-published poets. Yeah, you know? I'm only following like mainstream people. But and like it's a, like none of, no one's talking about it, but you know. But the only mainstream figure that's actually, I would say, doing like actually speaking out in a, in a very kind of like you know calm normal like five years ago it wouldn't have been a controversy at all is joyce carol oates joyce carol oates no, i'm sure has people been, hate her that she does she gets a lot of shit for it online she gets a lot of shit for it she, she's also not someone i really like i don't think <laughs> i'm not a huge fan of her either but she's kind of in that weird kind of quasi literary quasi pop kind of Area. Yeah, i feel like she once like said some shit that i was just like bitch what are you talking about yeah. but you know like and but, she's written yeah. so many books that like yeah they can't all be good she's got a couple really good ones i think she's written over like 60 books or something in her career she's up there now but you know she's been around a while she's seen a, a thing or two and she's been not very vocal but the most vocal i've seen out of all the big writers that could be kind of thing like that's it yeah 
in terms of like, yeah, like you're actually taking away good art. You're taking away freedom of expression. You're taking away what makes art so great and romanticized and why we love it. Kind well, of it's thing. just like, I mean, you're going to, you can't just start claiming like, oh, uh... they can now. Yeah. I, I mean, it's ridiculous to be like now that people feel bad. They feel disrespected. Um, so we will not show this well, that's historic what really, yeah. 14th century. I mean, and it's not like even the, like it, it's not. I just don't see reason in it. I don't like well, there isn't. Yeah. yeah, there's none. Um, to suggest that this is like Islamophobic or that it's well, it's not yeah. harmful. That's the problem is that if anybody for can somebody say that, whose but it's not. religion it is not, <laughs> and right. is studying it in the context of art history. Literally, yeah, that's the most important like... part: the context <laughs> of a survey course that goes through all of world history in art. Yeah. Like, that's the context that we're talking here. It wasn't somebody putting this up at like, you know, a local coffee shop or something. It was to literally be like, look at it. Right. It wasn't even a satire cartoon. Like everybody wants to talk to Charlie Hebdo right. and stuff like that. It was not that. But even, and even then, then, I support the artist. Yeah, I support I'm on this, it. Right, yeah. I'm, this, I'm this on the side of Charlie Hebdo. You can't artists assert. I think it's just like, yeah, this like this piece is... of this religion that yeah. I'm just like, yeah, no, you can't like, yeah, you can observe that as best as you can, but you cannot force it upon the world. Well, it's now they can. Yeah. I mean, but like, yeah, I just, I mean, you can't not outside of universities. It's not going to happen. You know what the, uh, I, it'd be interesting to see how that lawsuit plays out too, because they didn't sue them for, and I get it. You know, this person's an adjunct. I don't know the history of that person, but like, you know, if they have well, she's money suing for to, defamation, yeah, like if they have money or something to pay for a lawyer, but I mean, like if they don't, I'm assuming they don't because they're an adjunct. Like, you yeah. know, this is a cost. I was shocked like, this that is it, time, I was shocked energy, that it happened. money, I a lot of money. Yeah. Felt really disheartened when I read the first article because I was like, she's not even going to sue, but I hope she does. Like, right. I yeah. hope something happens. And I guess fires, I was glad that there was fires any... doing it, right? So it might be nonprofit, so they might not be charging her yeah, money. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but either way, it's just, it's so insane to yeah, me. It's absurd. That also that this guy could be like, well, this was my opinion. It's like, no, it wasn't. Right. It's not even his real. He doesn't even hold it. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what you if can't. It were one you thing, can't state something yeah. on behalf of the school and then say it was your opinion. Do you yeah. understand how that's fucked up also? Right. <laughs> like, like, no, it was the school's opinion because you were a school official and you were making a statement. And not just this a statement. Was not you were like taking an personal. action. You were taking a disciplinary yeah. action. And they were trying to hide behind the bureaucratic response, which is sure, people can be fired for any reason. And well, no, people don't get staff. fired. People just, who's, their contracts don't right. get renewed. don't get renewed. Except, I think we can like just stop being assholes and call it what it is. Especially if she was lined up to teach in the next semester anyway. Right. Already yeah, signed I the think courses. That, yeah. yeah, I think that you can come out and say yes she was fired right but also i like that she said no i will not at this time accept a position if they offered me one because they've walked it back you know yeah, i saw that they walked back as soon as the lawsuit was filed by a big organization yeah. like fire yeah because, because they probably didn't think yeah. an they adjunct didn't think. yeah would come at them well and because it's like that's the thing is we're taking this one person's but adjuncts seriously. are already really angry. I think like a lot of us would be actually willing to take that hit. Like, yeah, of course, especially if fire and organizations willing to help us yeah. with legal stuff. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing Thank is you. like, even if this student, like even if this, you know, the hypo, like the hypothetical student was claiming they believe this, like that's an, I don't believe that you actually believe that. Like, I don't believe that seeing this picture in the context of an art history class like caused, genuinely I, caused yeah, you I do harm. not believe it I believe that the person is a liar and I think more people need to say that this person is lying for attention oh a lot of people person, are saying it on Twitter right. well now they are a lot but of people are saying I've it. seen plenty of people just coming to bat for it you know what I mean just like 
going to bat for this this kid yeah, who they idiot. don't know. They know that this is hyperbolic. They know that this is an exaggeration. They know that the university actually did the wrong thing and didn't back up their faculty or their curriculum, quite frankly. Like this is a global art history or curriculum. Anything about at a liberal institution. Yeah. Like, we need to like it needs to be taught. Mm-hmm. Like this is what we always this is what we founded. This is why people come all over the world to go to American liberal arts institutions because they create curriculums that are so global and like we do like we are the knowledge center okay like like they just kind of this is so fucking there's like yeah there's just like an ethos there's just this idea that again it's it's that famous carl sagan quote right your ignorance is just as good as my knowledge like that's what people literally believe so this student who has not read anything they're in their 20s i'm assuming since they're in their 20s they have not read a book in their life that's what i'm assuming if you grew up in america and you're in your 20s right now you probably have not read a book in your entire life and they're going to sit here and claim that they know just as much as this person who spent years probably decades studying this field that's literally what the internet has empowered people to do. And not just, I guess not the internet, but social media specifically, you know, empowered people to do this. And we're treating it like it's equal, like it's the same thing that this person's uninformed opinion weighs just as much as this professor who's been studying this one tiny field for like decades. And it's incredibly asinine, but we all are sitting around like we don't know what to do. We're, we're, oh, I don't know. It's a tough one. It's like, no, it's not tough. We know the answer. And yeah. clearly fire knows the answer. And clearly the university knows the answer because they're walking it back already with this crap. And it's just... Heavy. Bored. Heavy. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. Bored. If you're hearing this, you're listening to the free version of Heavy Board. If you'd like to hear the full episode, become one of our subscribers at patreon.com slash heavyboard. For less than one cup of coffee per month, you will receive full access to uncensored episodes, jerk shop, special dispatches, bonus interviews, and more. Come join the conversation today at patreon.com slash heavyboard. Sweats and the day sweats, pal. Pal, I do.